I clicked on the button as I was trying to put it in the cradle. So you'll have to bear with me. I'm early, very early. So we're just going to hold on a second. We can have a bit of a look at the new pack while I am setting myself up. Oh my goodness. Right, let me just set up my... Um, set up my bits and bobs right we shall just sit here a moment and wait okay let's just angle this a tiny bit more good good evening good morning good evening good morning good afternoon vicky <laughs> one thing i haven't done is I haven't put the new pack up on Etsy yet. Ah oh dear. Yes, new papers. The request was for non-sport orientated mail papers. Yes, I'm early. Nobody's late. Don't worry. I'm, I was four minutes early. I went to set my phone up on my cradle and accidentally pressed go live. <laughs> so I'm live <laughs> earlier than usual. But anyway, um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, so I'll take you through this in a moment. Let me just quickly go and let my son know that I am actually live because I was go about, I was literally about to let him know that I was about to go live and then I accidentally clicked the live button. So bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves in the chat. I'm just going to quickly go and tell him that I am now on and then I will come back to you in a second. Bear with Right, I am back, I am back, I am back. Right, let's have a look, who have we got? So I've already said hello to Vicky, hello Dutch Joan, you made it again, and I'm glad you made it too. Hi Ali, hi Cindy, hi Zanya, hi Erin and Sandra and Laurie. Hello everybody. Um, oh, let me change my... Let me change my quality on my tablet because it's not very good. I don't know why I have to do this every time. You'd think once you've done it once, that would be it, but no. Yes, so I had a request last week, if you remember, for non-sport orientated male papers. So we went for mechanical cogs, tools, stuff like that. So these are the papers. You might have already seen a sneak peek of these. I'm not going to say too much yet because we're not even at half past. So a lot of people are going to be like, hang on a second, how is she live already? It's not even half past yet. Um, hi, Anne, as well. Thank you, Erin and Vicky. Yes, they are. As I said, they're not on Etsy yet. I just, I'm so busy. I <laughs> just, uh, my brain is frazzled. I'm up to goodness knows what hour most nights and my brain is frazzled-dazzled. So, um, yeah. I will put them up because they're all ready to go. I can they're all ready to be like put on Etsy listed and for the little video ready and whatever. In fact, have I done the video? I haven't even done the video. I haven't even done the Insta and the YouTube short video yet. So after the live stream, as long as I have half a brain left, I will then do the little video and also put them up on Etsy. OK, so they will be. I'm going to aim to try and get them all up by the end of today. So you'll have to just bear with me. Um, 11.30 p.m. in New Zealand. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's 11... No, it's 12.30 p.m. Now it's midday, half midday now here in the UK. Um, hi, Sally Jo. How are you? How are you? Right, let's just wait for a few more because I did go early. So let's just hold on one second and then I'll show you through the new pack, which none of you will have seen, clearly, because I haven't done the Etsy listing and I haven't done a video for it. <laughs> so there we go super organized as usual you will have seen it you would have had a sneak peek at it if you saw my in love art shop video because those of you eagle-eyed people will see that i did this card here i don't know if you remember this card from the video hi diane hi edwina um so these were using my mr mechanical papers so this was the card and I will be doing a video for this. I might even do a live for it next week. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. But anyway, 
this so yeah you already had a bit of a sneak peek at the papers um but you probably didn't realize it but yeah these are my mr mechanical papers so i will show you through um we're not making that card today by the way that's just because to show you the papers so yeah non-sport orientated male papers so i decided to call it mr mechanical and it's all of you kind of like your little bolts and things cogs bolts and cogs and tools more cogs in a darker see now i don't know if you i don't know if it shows on here yeah you can see kind of waves of color but that's just the way the printer's printed it out on the actual um jpeg it's all one color um and then i've done like a rough kind of like a rough painty kind of textured paper then you've got the cogs but on brown like a dark chocolatey brown it's quite a nice brown that then like a rust paper then we've got black and white tools and a black and white like a honeycomb but it's kind of like metal you know the me that metal kind of look and then we've got brown again with the tools and then this kind of um again textured thing on brown and then some actual cogs and this is a sneak peek of next week well it's not a sneak peek yeah in fact you have actually seen some of those papers as well because they were on my in love art shop video as well but anyway i've turned it over so you can't see what they are but um yeah so that is so that is the new pack for this week so i've gone browns black white with a tiny bit of like coppers and golds in it and actually you can accentuate your papers because they're quite dark papers but if you put a bit of gold behind them it just makes them pop just give them a bit of life so yeah so that is that uh, those are the papers so the card that we are doing today is a card that a lady on instagram Lurika. I think her name is Lurika79. She found a post of mine from 2017, January 2017, and um, it was a card, and I don't know what it's called, this particular card. I've, I've, my brain's gone blank. I, I don't know what it's called. So I've made it using my Music Maestro papers, and we're going to make it today using the Mr. Mechanical papers. So it's this card here. If you know what this is called, please tell me. So it opens up. And you have that there. So it stands on your desk nicely, stands on your mantelpiece nicely. But yeah, if you know what this uh, shape of card is called, please let me know because I cannot for the life of me remember. So that is the card we're going to be making today. So this is especially for Larika79 um, on Instagram. Hopefully she's joined us. Hopefully she's watching. If not, hopefully she'll be watching back. Um, I might do a video tutorial for it, but I don't know. I might not. I, I thought I'd already done this as a tutorial, but then I haven't really had a chance to properly look back through all my videos to see if I have. So it is a bit of origami, Vicky. Yes, and I did question whether I could actually handle this this morning <laughs> because last night I was, well, yesterday and last night I was finishing this one off, putting it together, cutting all the diagonals and whatever, and it did frazzle my brain a bit. So yeah, you'll have to bear with me. Um, I've used these dies, you'll probably remember, these are In Love Art Shop dies from the previous craft tool, so not the last one, but the one before, and the Happy and the Birthday, but I was like, oh, they fit really well, and they look nice, so, you know, you got your nice little, um, uh, what's it? Uh, hi, Annabella, a uh, box fold, yeah, it is kind of a box fold, isn't it? But I didn't know if it had a name because of this, because I've done one similar, but it actually opened up into a box. Uh, and this isn't that, this is slightly different. So I'm not sure what this is called, to be honest with you. I like it, but I don't know what it's called. So, yes, let me know if you know what it's called. Hi, Karen. Rainy Ar Arkansas. Yeah, it's uh, just grey here, has to be said. <clears throat> grey and chilly, and definitely not like August. Um, so, yeah, let me put my... Ah, oh, let me get my brain together. Right, okay. So, to start, oh, I meant to, I meant to actually tape up the back of all of these so that then I wouldn't have to be taping, you know, while you guys are on. But anyway, I haven't, so yeah. Right, I'm going to put this to, what will you call it? I don't know, I'm waiting for suggestions, Vicky. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it. It has a name. But I don't know what it's called. You made that box for hubby's birthday card. 
cool do you know what it's called sally joe though because I, I don't I, I really my brain's like nope sorry i've got no suggestions i can't even hazard a guess like my brain's like nope sorry not happening not helping you so yeah if you know what it's called please let me know hexagon squish fold <laughs> i like it i like that dutch it might end dutch Jane. it might actually turn into a hexagon squish fold card that's funny Right, okay, so for this card, you will need one piece of base card that is 7 inches by 11 inches. So I'm using a black. I decided to go with black. I'm sort of doing black and white with a bit of brown in there. You do need, uh, not this one, the box one. Which one? The box one. The one that I just showed. Oh, what, this one? Not this one, you don't mean this one. Do you mean this card, Sally Joe? I don't know which one you mean. Um, right, anyway, so one seven by eleven. So on your seven by eleven, you're going to score at half an inch, at three inches, at eight inches, and at ten and a half. Now, I'm sorry if you can't see my score lines. I didn't think about this. If I turn it up, this you might be able to. I'm not just get it so it catches the light. When I, yeah, there you are. You can see it when I, when I sort of turn it slightly. You can see it so it catches the light. Um, we're going to be doing some diagonal folds in a minute as well. In fact, while I've got my school board, let me just. Um, uh, I think I'm going to call it the diamond box card. Yes, that sounds about right. Granny's voice. The diamond box card. Let me just write that in here as a as a possible because that diamond. Card. I'm sure it does actually have like a, a, a proper name, but I don't know what it is. Right, so on here, I need to just mark halfway between, well, in the, in the whole card. So half of 11 and this five and a half. So I'm just going to make a little mark at the top there. And I also need to make a little mark at the bottom as well. Just so I know where that is. And then I'm also going to need... The one that opened up to a box, it had a band around to close it. Okay, I don't know which one you mean, Sally. I'm, I'm afraid you'd have to bear with me because my brain is not working today. It just isn't. It's just had enough. <laughs> it's had enough of too many late nights. Too much working. Right, I'm going to turn my card round and then along this first... So you've got the first score line there. So along this second score line, I'm going to measure and mark. And again, you're probably not going to be able to see this. We'll measure them up at two and a half from the top down and two and a half from the bottom up. So I'm marking at two and a half and at four and a half. And we'll do the same on the um the score line on the other side of that main panel. So at two and a half and at four and a half. Um and then I'm gonna get my uh this thing, scorey thing. And I'm going to score from that mark to the top of the first score line, so where you like tab is. So I'm going to score down. I've just gone past that. I think I have. Oh well. Oh well. That's how it goes. Like that. And then back up the other side. So you're going to score from that pencil mark again up to the top of that halfway mark that you did. The five and a half mark. So... If I angle it, hopefully you can, yeah, you can sort of see there. Can you see there my line going down and there's another line going back up there. So I'm going to do the same there. So I'm going to go from there down to that mark, from there up to the top there. We've done similar cards to this before. I mean, I might have done this card before. I don't know. But I so said that was 2017. So I wasn't even doing videos back then. Well, I was, but not that often. And I'm pretty sure I didn't have this one. Pretty sure I didn't do this one. And then we're going to repeat the whole process on the bottom. So we're going to go from that middle mark. Once I fold all these, you'll see exactly what I'm doing. But it's a bit tricky to see on the dark card. But I did want to use white because of the way the papers are. So that is why I went with the dark. So that's there like that. And then goes across like that okay a pop-up star explosion card Ooh, okay that's an interesting name makes it a pop-up star explosion card hmm i suppose it sort of is there is one there is a pop-up um explosion 
pop-up explosion card? I think it is. Uh, which is slightly different to this one. But yeah, gatefold diamond. I do like the gatefold diamond box card idea. I like that because that is kind of what it is. It's gatefold. It's diamond and it's sort of like a box. So I, I quite like that. It's the most descriptive out of all the suggestions so far. So I think I think that might be the winner. Right. So then the first and the last score line are going to be uh, mountain folds. So we're just going to do that and do that. Like that. So there's your two little tabs there. These two ones are going to be um, valley folds. And then we get into the diagonals. Okay, so that's the end up with just that for now. And then what we want to do is this one that we've just folded, if you fold back on itself as well, because you're going to need it to be able to go both ways, because part of it will be going one way and the other part of it will be going another way. So just make sure it's kind of it's happy to go, you know, like either way. Then what we're going to do is these here, all the diagonals are all going to be valleys. So what I suggest you do is kind of just kind of coax it in like that with your finger, coax it in. And when you've got that in, then pop this down and then you can do the other one. And then you just want to make sure that when you're when you're burnishing, you're getting it really nicely married up. Now, this is where you find out how well you've scored. OK, so that's the first one done. You can see my lines now much better. And then we're going to do the same with the bottom one. So again, just kind of coax them and then squat, fold along them and burnish them. And so that's the whole of that side done. I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do the same on this side. So again, just kind of coax them, coax them. If you want to use a ruler, you can, but you sort of just kind of very gently Tell it where you want it to go. Okay, like that. And then the same with this one. So let's just do this one here. Like that. There we go. And so when you fold it down, you should hopefully, it should fold down to be like that. Hopefully. OK, so then what we want to do is get some either red tape or wet glue. I'm going to use red tape because I tried to use wet glue on that Music Maestro one and it went horribly wrong. So I'm going to use red tape and we're going to put a strip of red tape along these two tabs. So this one here and the one on the other side. There we go, one there and then one on this tab here. Like this. like that and then you need to cut yourself out two pieces of base card that are two and a half inches by seven inches and so i've cut mine out here and here close in a moment and so these are going to go don't worry gina yeah so i was just saying we've got some new papers today the card we're making is this one which you might have seen before so we decided we're going to call it a gatefold diamond box card. I don't know if it has another name, but um, a lady called Larika on my Instagram contacted me uh, about one that I'd done back in 2017 and she wanted, she couldn't find a tutorial for it. So we're doing it today, especially for her. So yeah, so this is using the Music Maestro papers. And then today I'm using my new pack, Mr. Mechanical, which I will, uh, you'll be seeing in a moment. Okay, so then... We're going to take off the tape here and we're going to stick our section onto it like this. There we go. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. You went to vote. Ah, oh, okay. What country are you in? Are you in uh, 
Holland or I'm trying to think I can remember where you were. You guys are voting. Um right, stick that down. Pull that out. There we go. So there's your two side bits done. If you've got long enough card that you can do the whole thing in one piece, then you know, feel free. But it is quite a it's quite a long I think it's like four oh USA, okay, cool. Oh you guys are voting. Ah, okay. So this measures in total 12, uh, 13, 14, 15 inches wide. So if you have 15 inch card, then <laughs> you can do it without putting all your different panels. So that is that. So then what we want to do is we're going to do these pieces here because they're the easiest. So I'm using the cog paper because I quite like it. And I decided to use an orange mat like I did with the musical maestro ones. Just because I thought it, you know, it makes it kind of just pop a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these onto the um, mat card. So the mat card for these, I didn't see the sizes. You need two pieces for this this bit here. You need two pieces that are two and a quarter by six and three quarter. You will need two more of that size for the inside, but for now I'm just using two. And then your pattern piece is two inches by six and a half. And you need again in total, you're going to need four of them. But for the bit we're doing at the moment, we just need two. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. Stick these down, stick these down. And then it's so cold here. It's actually freezing. I had to put the heating on the other night. And I held off and held off. I was like, I don't want to put the heating on. It's August. Like nobody puts the heating on in August. That's just not allowed. But it was 16 degrees in my bedroom and I was like I'm sorry I'm very sorry but I can't deal with 16 degrees that is too cold for me even with the amount of blankets I have on 16 degrees it's just too much so um in fact I think it went down to did it go down to 15 no I think it was 16 degrees I was like no that's, that's too cold it's just too cold it's just too cold so it's really chilly here my hands are freezing I had my little fan heater on before I started but all that heat's disappeared now I've switched the heating off again because yesterday it was sunny so I switched the heating off and now I'm considering maybe I need to put it back on again because it's cold it's really cold so it might be summer officially over here in the UK but it, it really isn't summer it's we, we're kind of having another winter which makes me think that our winter this winter is going to be very snowy and really very chilly because I've noticed that this seems to be the way it tends to go we have a kind of a, a nothingy winter and a nothingy summer and then we have a really cold winter and then a really hot summer so last summer we had heat waves and stuff i know in spain and that you guys have in spain have had heat waves and oh, various places in europe but for us in the uk we had a nice weather in may june and then july was horrendous july was just a non-event <laughs> uh, as was august so far August has been a non-event as far as summers go. Not quite sure what the weather thinks it's doing. Mind you, we might have an Indian summer, you never know. Uh, Indian summer, Indian September, you know, like autumn. We might have a nice uh, a nice September. You never know. They hold out hope. But yeah. Right, so that is that done. So let's stick these down onto... That's the one we up. I need to get this because I want that cog to continue. So I just need to make, in fact, let me, uh, yeah. This is true, Sally Jo. This is very true. It is a normal British summer. It is a normal British summer. This feels so cold this, this year for some reason. I don't know. Like last year, we had quite, a, I thought we had quite a decent summer. We had some really hot weather and it was really quite nice. But this year, hmm, I mean, we have had nice work. You know, we have had a hot, we did have a hot spell. I remember at the end of May, we definitely had a hot spell at the end of May. And into June, we had a hot spell as well. And then towards the end of June, it started to trail off. But we have had, we have had nice weather for this year. So it's not like we've had nothing. It's not like it's just been grey and dreary and wet and nasty all summer. It feels like it. 
because obviously since the school holidays have broken up for most people it's been horrible but um we did have that nice weather in may and june so you know i'm not gonna forget that oh i couldn't do that granny's voice i couldn't do over 100 oh my days that's too much so yeah i really couldn't i'd rather have uh, i think i'd rather have british weather than that i couldn't do i'd love to the sunshine but um yeah last year you were uh, yeah last year well yeah but you see again you see sandy you know, because last summer was hot the previous summer was a bit nothingy and then the previous summer again was hot again because if you remember 2020 so what was last year last year yeah so 2020 when we were all locked inside um it was lovely it was beautiful weather so it's every two years it seems to be it's it's strange the way it goes but that does seem to be the pattern it was a theory i had and i've tested it and it does seem to be the, the way things go right so you're gonna need in total two pieces of mat that are four and three quarter by six and three quarter you're gonna need one piece of white that's four and a half by six and a half and one piece of pattern that's four and a half by six and a half now we need to cut both of these in a minute so we'll do that in a minute and then these are those other two pieces of mat that were two and a quarter by six and three quarter and the two pieces of pattern that are two by six and a half and again we need to cut these so i'm going to start with this one first now i did kind of work out that your mat card you need to measure down two and three eighths so i'm going to measure it and see but with my music maestro one i ended up kind of laying it on and seeing what worked because i did measure I think it was the pattern piece and it ended up not working. So we're going to do the same today. So one, two, three. So I'm going to measure two and three eighths from the top down and then two and three eighths from the bottom up. I'm going to draw a line here like this. And you're going to need this off cut as well as the main piece. Um, there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I have discovered is probably the best. So I've got my, my piece and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this on here and see if that kind of works and it does. So the two and three eighths measurement seems to be okay. So I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to stick that one on the back and I'm going to cut them both at the same time. Um, let me use big scissors. I would normally use my guillotine just to make sure they don't move. However, in fact, before I do this, let me add some tape on. Let me add some tape. Oh, shall I not? No, let me not. Okay. I think I did for the other one, but I won't for this. I'll, I'll just cut it. It's not too bad a, a measure, you know, shape to go around. It's just a case of getting it so it doesn't move when you when you cut. And you're going to need these triangles, so don't get rid of them. Okay, so that's your two, um, let me put these triangles to one side. These are going to need trimming down because they're too big at the moment. So that's your two pieces that should fit in here. If they don't fit, then now is the time to trim them. Let me have a look. So my angle isn't completely right. I have a cat outside the door who wants to come in. This one here is not completely right so i am going to just change that slightly yes pepsi i can hear you but you can't come in right now because you're going to want to jump on my craft desk so, yes you are so if you can hear outside the door meowing if i let her in she'll be up on the desk i know she will be yes you will i might have to give in in a minute actually let her in because she's literally going to meow the whole time Okay, that's, um, oh, let me just let her in. Hopefully she's not going to cause trouble. Are you coming in? Come in. Don't jump on the desk. Jump on here. No, not on the desk. Oh, sorry. We have a cat invasion. There we go. Oh, right, I'm going to perch. Hopefully she'll sit behind me. Um, right, so. No, she's got down. Okay, well, there we go. Right. So that needs to go on there. Yeah. So I'm still not happy about that angle. That angle is still not right. So you can either kind of, you know, just kind of measure it and see what works. 
Oh, that's you know, we'll just go with that. It's not too bad. This one here, I don't really like triangles, has to be said. Here we go. Oops, Pepsi. There you go. You could go and sit on the chair. I'm going to move stuff now because the cat's decided she wants to sit somewhere. Got my cushion. My cushion. No, you're getting off again. Oh, dear. This is why I don't allow my cat in the classroom when I'm doing a live stream. Who let the cat in exactly? Meow, 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 meow. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, this is, this, this, I said these angles are not quite right, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to leave them as they are. Right, so then I'm going to get my pattern pieces and I'm going to lay them on. In fact, I might just do them this way around like this. Um, lay on. This is why I was thinking, um, do I really want to... Pepsi, you can't come onto the desk, my darling. I'm sorry, that's not allowed. There you go, have a nice comfy cushion to sit on. I'm trying to stamp all over my cards, please. Thank you very much. I'm sort of feeling sorry for her because her sister, well, it's not really her sister, has been um, jumping on her a lot. So I do feel a bit sorry for her. She didn't want an extra cat in the house and she's got one anyway. That's it, sit on that nice comfy cushion. I'm sitting on a not a very comfy chair now because of you. So you can have that nice comfy cushion. You can. Oh, I hear purrs. I hear purrs and she's kneading it. That's good. You're happy. You happy? You sit yourself down. That's it. You sit yourself down. You sit yourself down, little one. There we go. Right. So this is probably the best way of doing it, I think because then you know it's definitely going to be right. Um, otherwise, you are going to end up with angles that don't quite work. So, and again, you want to keep those triangles if you want to decorate your triangles. It might be you get to the point where you just think, you know what, I forget my triangles, I don't want to do them. Right, let me stick this one down. And you can, if you want, tape the back of your pattern paper before you start cutting. And that does make things a bit easier. I did that with my Music Maestro one. It would be good if I could use wet glue to stick this down because that would also make things quicker. But because I'm using laser printed paper, I can't do that because it takes the, the print off. So, yeah. My printer has finally been delivered. Hurrah! Which is why I've managed to get all these um, things printed off. I have done packs as well, just to let you all know. I have done um, some of the packs you guys suggested. I have done, so I've done a book one. I've done a Auss Aussie Christmas one. I have done a, obviously the male one. What are the ones I've done? So I think, I've done a few. I did a few packs, I had a real sit down and do a whole load of packs recently hi liz don't worry i was really early i was four well i was four minutes early because i accidentally pressed the wrong button on my computer not computer phone thank you so these this is my new paper pack liz and it will be on etsy later today when i get my brain together get my life together and get my axe sorted out Right, so as you can probably see, that gap there is a little bit too big, but whatever, we just have to just see it's fine. This angle here is not quite right, even though I just measured it. Have I stuck this on the wrong side? Maybe I've stuck this on the wrong side. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. It's done, so we're not going to lose too much sleep over it. And we do the same with this one. Yes, I'm really pleased, although I have to say, when I got it, the box looked like it had been kicked around the warehouse. It looks like they played football with it and then they dumped it in a puddle. It is an absolute shambles of a box. I was not impressed. And it's such a shame because the guy from UPS who delivers to, you know, he's always the one who delivers everything. He's really nice. He's a really nice lad. So I just felt, and he was, he looked really <laughs> apologetic for it. Well, it's just not his fault. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's a really nice guy, but clearly the people in the uh, packing office, had, it looks like it had been around the world a few times. 
and it had clearly been dumped in a puddle or got wet some at some point because the edge of the box was all starting to like come apart you know how like cardboard goes all mushy it was doing that and so um yeah i'm gonna put the tape on first this time but at least it works because inside they wrap it quite well um and it had a, it was you know in a like a poly bag type thing as well so that if it had been in the water it hadn't obviously got into the printer so that was good so at least i now have a printer that at the moment works absolutely cindy a, a handmade card is not perfect it's handmade right so let's cut this now so i'm actually taping this first um see if i'd have been smart and thought about it i could have put the two together and cut them together but I didn't think about that. I also need to remember which of these are going on which side. So these two need to go on this side because that will then match up. And the other two need to go on the other side. Oh, right. Let's fold these back. Oh, it's so cold in here. My hands are freezing. Right, so it's this side that I did it. So let's, that should match up perfectly. <laughs> should. About there, I reckon. Yeah. That looks good to me. Hands aren't working now. There we go. Yeah, and that one there. Oh, that's, that works out. That works out very well, that one. Right, so let's stick these down into place on the actual card itself. I'll try and stick as I go if I can, because then you've got bits floating around, you don't know what you're doing with them. So let's just stick this down. Well, Pepsi settled herself down. She's happily sat on the cushion. She's like, yes, thank you very much. This is what I expect. First class treatment. Okay, so stick that onto there like that. And then this one's going to go on the other side. I've had a few people confuse me with Sam from Mixed Up Crafts, which does amuse me rather a lot. And I'm also very flattered by that. So thank you for anybody who thought that I was Sam. I'm not. Uh, but I really rate what she does. And I'm very flattered that anybody would confuse me with her. So yeah, um, we have similar, I think it's because we have similar kind of ideas, we both kind of like folds and yeah, that's probably what it is. Right, so that's that anyway. So now we need to do, I'm going to do the, let me do the triangles actually, I was about to say the middle piece, but let me do the triangles because uh, yeah, let's do the triangles first, I think. So I'm going to get my triangles, lay them on, and then we're going to cut a bit off. And again, um, it's just getting that angle really, isn't it? That's the thing. And again, there probably is a measurement, but I don't know what it is. I mean, that measures two and a half. So if I go for two and a quarter, that would take me to here. And let's go two and a quarter down here, which it pretty much is two and a quarter. But let's try it and see. Again, it really does. You can do measurements, but if you haven't cut properly, then uh... <laughs> Sally Joe, you're funny. That would that would completely throw people, wouldn't it? Maybe it was me wearing nail polish all the time. Maybe that threw people. <laughs> they were like, "Hang on a second. Maybe it is her." We do have different accents, though. To be fair, we do have different accents, but I suppose if you know you're not used to accents, you do sort of sound we both got quite neutral accents, I guess. Right, that's not a big border, but because you've got the border there, I'm happy with that. That's fine. I'm going to stick these down as we go, I think, because um, otherwise, as I said, I'm going to end up getting confused. And again, if you take these first, if you take the whole of the back of your um, 
strip before you start cutting it all up it means you haven't then got to be gluing each individual triangle and each individual piece you can just peel the backing off and jobs are good so there we go that's okay it is literally right up against the crease line but i don't mind because that gap then is similar to some of the other gaps so it's fine right i'm just going to go with two and a quarter on all of them because it seems to work we'll see find out if it doesn't but two and a quarter that is two and a quarter two and a quarter is here we'd have got one edge that is um one edge that is longer than the other i don't know there we go i'm just going to stick it down she does sally joe she does yeah i think i remember seeing that i don't i can't do rings i literally got my wedding ring and that's it and as you can see it's just a basic because i just don't do rings i just i can't do rings <laughs> me and jewelry don't really get on has to be said we don't really get on you know that angle doesn't work now why does that oh i don't know why that doesn't work. it's down now anyway for some reason that angle but that is an equal length so clearly my my, my scoring's out of out of whack clearly um i don't know i don't know i could go with two and one eight instead maybe maybe i should try two one and eight for this one I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Measurements makes it exact, but if your measurement isn't, if your scoring's not exact, then it doesn't really make a difference. So let's just uh, let me put a two together just to try and speed things up a little bit. I would go with more than two, but. And let's just check them before we stick them. Yeah, that's all right. That one works okay. Ah, two and an eighth then, maybe. Maybe two and an eighth. Blind man on a galloping horse. Huh? <laughs> confused. I'm confused. Um. Right. Let's get that down there. There we go. And this one, oh, this is a bit that takes the time, you see. This is why I don't tend to make this sort of card very often if I can help it. But I just thought it's better for me to do this on a live than try and do a video tutorial for it. I mean, I may still do a tutorial for this, but I'd really rather not. Because it's a bit of a it's a bit of a one of them, isn't it? <clears throat> right, where are the rest of my triangles? Anybody seen my little orange triangles anywhere? I should have. Oh, no, I know what it is. I've made a mistake. These two should have gone over here. Okay, that's fine. We're going to cut some more off in a minute anyway, so it's fine. Okay. So did I say, no, that doesn't go over here. Does that go over here? Yeah. So that's that one. And I think this one, this one? No, this one is this one. Yeah. So they're my other two spares. So I'll come back to that. I don't know where the other one's gone. I had another one somewhere. And again, with this, I think maybe if we went two and. Uh, that's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just very tired. <laughs> my brain's not working. My brain's like, I have no clue. Um, if we go with two inches, I reckon two inches. Let's try two inches either side. Oh, that is already two. Okay, is this already two? No, that's more than two. So let's just do this like that. Cut it, hope for the best. There we go. All right, let's see if that makes. Yeah, that works. Okay, so two and an eighth and two inches seems to be the best. Um, measurement again it all depends on your um you know the accuracy of your fold but anyway that might work obviously your triangles are going to be bigger because of your um because of how you cut them 
I mean, it might be that you want to make your pattern paper, paper smaller, but I'm not sure what the measurement would be if you do, do that. So someone clever can work that out. All right, let's go with two inches again. That is two. And two is here. It's weird because these are so, you know, so the wrong size. But anyway. Right, so let's get this stuff down. Please feel free to chat amongst yourselves. Uh, right, let's put this up here. There we go, they were perfect, those ones. Right, so let's do with the middle now, because I've only got one. I don't know where my other pattern triangle is here. Right, these two triangles I'll have to do in a minute. Okay, so for the inside, we are going to do the same thing again. In fact, I'm going to actually, I think for this one, what I'm going to do is lay it on and just make, um, don't worry, Marianne. Um, I'm going to make marks, top and bottom, yep. And then I think I'm going to, while it, with it laid on, I'm just going to get my ruler and draw like roughly where it looks like it should be and hopefully I'll put a cross in the middle so I know this is the right side up and then somewhere to there up there I think it really is a guesswork it really really is I might cut these and they're all wonky and I might have to tune them again I don't know I'm not a big fan of triangles as you know. And there. You like the colour combos, thank you. Yeah, I really did I struggled to start with what colours to go with. It took me a while. I was gonna go with like a gold behind, but then I was like, mmm. Mm, not really doing the gold thing. Right, before I cut this, I am going to stick tape on it just so that then Oh, actually, no, I don't need to. No, oh, no, I'll, no, I don't need to with this one because it's glue. It's glue. I'll do it on the on the pattern piece instead. Um, right. So we're going to cut down here. I haven't measured this, but I think it's. Let me measure it now. So it's about two and a quarter. Well, two and mm, about two and a quarter ish down the side. I thought it was supposed to be two and three eighths, but we'll see how this turns out. It might not look right. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Let's get this in. Oh yeah, that kind of that's pretty even. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. I put the cross on the front just so that I could see which was the front. Because obviously not all my corners might not be all even. So at least if I do it this way, I know that that matches up with the corner I've measured it against, if something. So let's grab this. Turn it over. And stick it down. I'm using wet glue because at least I get a bit of time to kind of get it all in. That works quite well. That's relatively even. Relatively even. You like the large cog paper? Yeah, I like this. I've actually got some actual cogs, like, you know, embellishment cogs. Um, so I might try and dig those out um, and use them. What did I say this paper should be two and one eighth yeah two and one eighth and the others are two okay so let me just cut two and one eighth on all of these i'm going to try and do two at a time two and one eighth is here two and one eighth that's the beauty of digital packs as well because obviously if you really like the cog paper you can print off a whole load of cog paper 
and be cogging your way all up. You don't mean like, you know, just really go for it. So whereas if you get a buy a paper pack, then, you know, you're kind of limited to what you've got in there. But at least with this, you can print off what you want. And this is one of the joys of, of paper packs, digital paper packs. This is all taking way longer. I hope you don't mind all watching me cut out. I mean, it's tough if you do, but <laughs> you kind of have to. Oh, you know what I should have done as well? I should have cut... Oh, bother. I should have cut this along with this, because both of these need to be the same. These both need to be cut. In fact, what I might do is I might put this on here like this and just draw around it. And then hopefully it will kind of work out about right so wherever you can i would team your your pieces up and 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 try and cut them together little tip this is why people like dies that cut it all out for them i can see the appeal of if you you know like a, a, an actual die that cut this card out i can see the appeal of that especially the layers oh my days right Okay, so that's all ready to go now. And then let's just cut these. Oh, I need to draw along this line first. So now you can see why I never did a tutorial for it back in the day, in 2017, when I first made this card. Because it's a faff. Right, the other thing I'm also gonna do is, because I've cut these out, I'm going to lay this on here and I'm going to draw around these as well. And then that piece there is just a case of cutting out. I mean, assuming it's going to fit, obviously it might not fit. Hopefully it will. We will see. The best laid plans and all that. If you cut yourself out a template, what I would yeah, what I would do is find out what works and then cut yourself a template using um, you know, some scrap card. And then that way you can just lay them on and just draw around like I have here. I reckon that would be the best idea. Right, let's stick these triangles down. Yeah, they do work. They do fit. So I think two and an eighth on your on your mat and two inches on your pattern seems to work. So again, it all depends on how you've scored yours, but that seems to work. Yeah, that's my biggest struggle to use as well, Gina. I have the same, the same. It takes me forever. I'm like that, and then that, and then all. Oh, I'll sometimes start with, sometimes people ask me, how do you, you know, decide what paper to use and whatever? You know, what do you start with when you make a card? Sometimes it's, I've got a die that I need to, so when I get my In Love Arts order or my Cake Rose order, I need to think of what I'm going to, you know, that die has to be on the card. So I have to start with the die and then some dies kind of lend themselves to different folds of card. So then I'll look through and think, right, OK, well, I can do that fold of card with that kind of die. And so it'll just go from there. And then other times it's like now it's the papers. So I've got to use these papers. So then what can I do? Because some folds of card or some card designs don't really show off papers. So it's like, right, what? I need to choose something that shows off papers really well. And then, you know, again, like if it's a male card, there are certain folds that I think are more male than others. I don't know if that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, so then someone will do that and then work from that. So then I've worked with the, I'll start with the pattern, then work out what the mat needs to be and then work out what colour the base needs to be. So it really depends on, you know, what you're starting with. Sometimes you just you want to do a different, you know, you've seen a fold you like, so you start with the fold and then you start, right, what sort of, pa you know, papers works with this? Do I need papers for this kind of card or, you know, so that's, that's the way I do it. Right, let's stick these two down now. Um, good, I'm glad, Shannon, I'm glad you like it. It's an interesting shape, it is, and that's why I thought it'd be quite good for a male card, because again, it's one of those where it could be for either. But some are really good for mail cards, and I think this is one of them. Um, 
it's just a bit interesting and you haven't really got to tell the recipient what to do because it's pretty obvious just open it up and there it is boom so um it's quite good for that as well um yeah templates are definitely the way forward for this card definitely that would really help but you'd have to obviously really make sure your template was bang on um let's go take one there it is Ooh. Make sure your things really bang on. You file all the templates. Wow, that sounds very organised. I've got like a book to my right, my left, which has all my measurements and everything in. And the sample, I always make a sample card out of scrap card. And that gets stuck in as well, if possible. Obviously, if it's like a box, I can't stick it in. But yeah, I usually stick it in there. And then at least, because if I come back and I read it, I'm like, what is that? I don't know what, I don't know what card that is. <laughs> so I'd like to be able to see it, see what it is. Uh, pin. There it is. Back in the days of demoing, I used to have um, I used to have uh, A4 printout sheets of all, like with templates on. But um, I don't have time to do that now. I mean, that did used to take a lot of time up, has to be said. But my life has changed now, so <laughs> I don't have time for that kind of thing. Uh, right, is this up there or is this one down here? Mm, I think this is from up here. Oh, this is a bit big, this is. That's a bit big, that one. Hmm, so two inches is not quite enough. Well, I'm going with it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I've lost the will to live. So <laughs> we're just going with it. We are just going with it. I'm actually going to trim this off. I've been folding it back, but it kind of makes a lump if you're not careful. So I'm going to cut it off and just stick it down over here somewhere. On one of my scrap pieces. Oh, there we go. Um, right. Let's keep going. Let's keep plodding on. We're almost there, people. Well, I'll say we're almost there. I've got to decorate it yet. And I haven't cut out my bits for, you know, happy birthday or whatever it is I'm going to put on it. So, we need to do that. I was going to do that before I came on, but I ended up finishing off that um, Music Maestro one instead. So I need to work out what happy birthday die I'm going to use for this. I've, I've got a cog die. And I did have it in mind that I was going to use a cog die right in the centre um, and put the greeting on that. Okay, right, so that is that. So now we need the pattern piece. Um, and I'm going to have to draw on the front of this one because otherwise we're not going to get it right because if i turn this over what's on the front might be different to what's on the back so again i am going to kind of get my ruler on and just kind of draw now this could be interesting because i don't know if i can actually see that line mm. i might have to risk it and turn it over let me just cut that off actually no, before i cut it off let me just let me put tape on the back first let me look, yeah let me put tape on the back first I am going to need to tape this. So let's tape the back. And then I think I'm going to have to draw on the back because the front is so dark, I'm not going to be able to see my lines. So tape it first. And the other thing that I need to remember is once I've cut this out, before I stick it down, I really do need to draw around this onto the white piece that will go on the back. Because that will make my life so much easier if I do that. So one here and one here. If you've got adhesive sheets, you could use those. That would also help. That would make life a lot easier, I'd imagine. I mean, you would end up with a massive load of stickiness, but apart from that. <laughs> right, so that's probably enough tape. 
and then what did we say two inches but I, mm, no, let me just lay it on i don't trust my measurements let me lay it on i think that's more reliable yeah i don't have a white pencil i do have a white pen but um it's a bit it's a bit uh what's the word um not unpredictable what's the word i don't know what the word is <laughs> i'm gonna cut this now oh no maybe i shouldn't maybe i should cut the two together let me cut the two together let me cut the two together it's just because this is quite as you can see it's moving quite a lot so it's difficult because you get it on you do your pencil line and then when you get to do the next pencil line it's moved again so let me try my best go like that and then i need to somehow spin it around whilst keeping it in the same position it's moved slightly but not too bad there we go this is how we end up with wonky donkey you see because doing things like that about there maybe it really is a you know a test it and see I would definitely 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 100% advise doing templates get your templates bang on and then you haven't got to faff around with all this business right I'm also going to just do this so um, it's that way up isn't it so this is that's the top and I'm that's the top so then I know the same way and I'm going to get my white card and do the same with this um yeah I'm not going to bother putting tape on it because I can wet glue white card and then we're going to go in and we're just going to cut down here like that down here like that in my top two corners and then same here definitely didn't go for the easy options for today's live stream did i let's be honest definitely not the easy option Right, there we go. So now the moment of truth. Is it going to fit? Is it going to match up? Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. That right there is pretty good. Right. Take this backing off. Like that. Ooh. So yeah, next week's digital pack will be a Christmas one. And as I said, you've already seen a sneaky peek of it, even though you wouldn't have realised it, on my In Love Art Shop craft haul. I've also just done another Coca Rosa and In Love Art Shop order because they emailed me so you will be getting another video so i apologize to all of your wallets however um i have to say that you know they're good dyes <laughs> they're a lot cheaper than some places so yeah sorry not sorry i guess i mean <laughs> well then um, right so that's that and then we just need to um cut these down and i think we're going to go with this is definitely not a beginner card yes i agree cindy this is not a beginner card this should have a health warning attached to it should i go one and three quarters i might go one and three quarters actually just the two for this oh it's all the cutting out i think cindy if you did a um a template for it that will go one and seven eighths if you did a template for it then it could be a beginner card because well not beginner but like slightly more you know you've done a few it could be one of those um because you could just draw around your templates 
But all the measuring and the marking and the oh my goodness, get it off. Too much. Oh, no, not way around. Too much, too much. Right, let's cut down here. I hope this is not too much I'm taking off. I've gone for one and seven eighths up either side. So moment of truth. Oh yeah, one and seven eighths is quite good actually. Yep, there you go. So one and seven eighths for your pattern paper then. For your triangles up the sides, the right angle sides. Um, seems to be reasonable. Oh yes, that works very nicely. And obviously if you wanted to, you could make, you know, do a different pattern in the middle than you've got on the sides. So you could do cog, 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 and then nuts and bolts in the middle. Um, but I quite like the idea of it being all, you know, the same on the inside. Uh, a bit like, you know, like with opening a box. So that's that. And then we'll do these ones here. So these are one and seven eighths again. Let's go one and seven eighths, which is here. Definitely cutting two together as well. That helps. Cutting two at the same time. Definitely a little tip. Double sided paper, it would be less layers. Do you mean like, uh, although you could use double sided paper and it would be less layers? What do you mean, Vicky? Sorry, my brain's not working. Yep, Gina, please do. I'm hoping that Larika, or I, can't remember, I don't know how you pronounce her name, I hope she sees this because I did tell her I'd be doing it on the live stream. So hopefully you're watching Larika, or you will be watching. Hopefully you're watching the replay. This is for you. Uh, that's there, and that is not there. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just whack them in. <laughs> it doesn't matter where they go. They're not going to perfectly line up anyway. And the pattern's so small, it doesn't really matter that much. So let's just. Wipe these off. Wipe them on. So yeah, that's a good measurement. One and seven eighths is a good measurement for that. It's a bit higgledy piggledy, but we get there. Right, there we go. So that's the inside done. Woo um, these little white triangles you don't really need. So then on the back, uh, now obviously I've already got my white bit cut out ready to go. My orange bit is almost ready to go. Um, so I don't use the triangles. It's just this main piece here. So obviously I've really cut this down. So that's good. Hopefully this will work. Sorry if I just knocked the camera. Just knocked the lead, the charging lead. So I'm just going to cut these down like that. And like that. And like that. Right, does that fit? Mm, hmm, interesting. Not quite big enough. I mean, it's not quite small enough even. It's a bit too big. Oh, it's all right. Mm, no, it's a bit big here. Mm. That's interesting. Okay, let's just cut a tiny bit off this side here. For some reason, that isn't working out. Don't know why. Let's just cut a tiny slither off. Very odd. Right, that'll do. It's all black on the back anyway, so you won't be able to see where it's not quite right. You like a challenge? Well, this is definitely a challenge. This definitely fits into the challenge um, bracket. Definitely. Right. That's that. That way around, I think. I hope it was this way around anyway. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my husband is back. Not sure why. Hopefully he won't come in here. 
Mm, he's got some no-nails in his hand. Okay. Right, so that's that. Let's get the white piece on. Oh, the white piece fits relatively okay. Obviously, if you want to stamp it, do it before you stick it down. I should do that, but I'm not going. Yes, I am going to. <laughs> yes, I am, actually. I'm going, to, I'm going to do that now. Let me just clear my desk a little bit. And I am definitely going to stamp that before I stick it. Because that would be a nightmare otherwise. Let's just get rid of my bits. And then let's put this in here. I think I've listed this in my description below, I think. Um, Got a few wishes on. Just getting the um, bits out that I need to do. Yes, sweet pea. Yeah, you have to watch from the beginning. You can learn from my mistakes. I just get a um I like to get my wet wipes out before I start stamping. Oh. Let me just cut this up. Little tip as well. I tend to um don't worry Jackie. Yeah, you can you can catch up, don't worry. Don't have to worry. Because my wet wipes are so big, I cut them into quarters. Because you really don't need a whole wet wipe just to wipe down one stamp. It just means I use less. There we go. Right, so. Let's ink up. I'm using a VersaFine... Uh, onyx black pigment ink because I find it it's nice and proper jet black it's not like a grey I don't really like it when it's it, you know it, it it stamps really nicely and it's uh, a good colour there we go I don't think it's linked in my description I will try and remember to find it and link it right so that is that let's stick this down now this down oh, got stuff stuck to my nail right so there we go oh that works out quite nicely that sticks on quite nicely so there we have to work out what we're going to decorate it with Oh, wow Gina cool that's good you obviously did a very good job oh that's fabulous what one I'm, I'm interested to see what one Gina because um wow that's quite something which card did you make as well which, which um style did you make another quick swig right we need to decorate this card now Yeah, which um, fold did you use? Because that sounds awesome. Very good. Right. Uh, decorations. Um, I'm tempted to use the same happy birthday that I used on this one. Because I like this. So I am tempted to do that. The only problem is my happy kind of needs to be a bit more serious on this one, if you know what I mean. This is kind of jaunty. I kind of feel like I need a more serious happy on this one. I could use the same birthday, though, and then just use a different happy. I have got a different happy, actually. I've got... Let me bring my dies up on the table so you can see them. Oh, move that over there. 
this is all my in love art shop dies i've got um if i use that birthday and then i could use that happy that would work so i'll use that for the happy don't forget to use iced images on in love art shop to get yourself 20 percent off when you go to check out you just need to um when you go to check out check out and then at the bottom of your list of whatever you've chosen in your basket there should be a little box of discount code and so in there if you write in iced images and then press apply it should then apply that code and give you 20 percent off so we are going to need i think we're going to need to go with an orange an orange birthday and then i think this needs to be i think this probably needs to be orange shadow and black happy i think that could work so let's do that let me find my orange card i had it a minute ago what did i do with it oh it's over here I need an orange birthday orange birthday and an orange shadow and bring my dye machine in oh it's heavy 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 right so orange birthday i need to um should it fit on there no not quite i didn't think it did fits on here though yep so let's just cut this down like that and then i'm going to put some tape on the back of this so i don't have to bother about using glue it's a pain to peel it all off but i still find it easier than using glue oh. so one two three and that's my birthday needs to go on there like that and then we've got the happy I'm not going to put any tape on that one because i don't need to put these foam pads on that's big enough right that goes in there that's right through and then run it back again. There we go. There's the birthday. There's me happy shadow. Let's move my thing out of the way because it's making my card wet. And then I just need some black card for the happy. So, let's get my black card out. Now I've got a slightly pearlescent-y card stuck. I might use that might use that on it it's not quite so it's nice it's got a bit of pearlescent to it so it's a bit metalized that's not a word but you know what i mean <laughs> you know what i mean right that's good there again this one i do need to add tape onto so this side this way around Yeah, I'd be interested to know, Gina, what it was, which one it was. I bet you were very pleased. I'd be pleased if that was a if that was me. That's awesome. Do it again okay, let's turn it over sometimes when i put tape on the back it doesn't always cut so i find if you write through once and back again and then turn it over so the cutting side's facing up that tends to seem to sort of yeah do the job right so that is that so let's just run that through i was going to do a cog but i don't think i can be bothered <laughs> to be honest with you don't think i can be bothered 
Right, let's cut that out. Let's take all of this outside piece off. And since it wants to stay in the die, I will allow it because then I can stick the die straight on and uh, it's all nicely lined up. So let's just be trying to think of the name. <laughs> it's my struggle every day. Right, so I'm going to leave the die, leave the, the die cut in the die. Take off the backing carefully, and then I can just lay the die on top of the shadow, press through the holes, and it will be all nicely placed. Because if I try and do it myself, I could end up with wobbly letters. There we go. So if your die doesn't, if your paper doesn't want to come out of the die like this, then that's the best tip. So then you can take the whole die. Take the shadow, oh, 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 it needs to come back a little bit, oh, it's already stuck, okay, well, come back a little bit, there, there we go, I'm going to poke through the holes, you might end up with little dots on your die cuts when you're poking through the holes, you can use a blunter pin I've got like a blunter, it was actually a poker tool, but it's kind of got so blunt now it's useless. Apart from things like this. So I tend to use that and I just want to very carefully. There you go, so there's your happy. All nicely lined up. And then let's tackle our birthday. Now, this birthday, you need to make sure your B is separate from your Earth Day and your dot is separate, so just don't lose those bits. And again, I want to leave it in the die if I can, because then I can get it lined up nicely. So I've got to do a bit of surgery here. Come on. Come on, backing. If you've got those tweezers that are super, super, they're like pins on the end, they're perfect for things like this. If not, then you have to do it the hard way. Oh, let me poke this bit out as well. Let me poke my gaps out. So I poke this bit out here. And I need to poke out the middle of my A and the middle of my B. There we go. And then let's take all the backing off this. Now this birthday will literally just fit. I think it's five, it's just under five inches wide. So it really is, you have to get it, you know, nicely lined up. It will fit. I thought it was going to only be suitable for a six by six card, but actually, after trying it on that other, on that Music Maestro one, turns out, you can use it on five by sevens, which is helpful. There we go. There we go. I'm doing a lot of talking, so I'm concentrating. <laughs> Feel free to talk in the comments. <laughs> there we go. That one there, almost done. See, this looks like a faff, but I have to say this is a whole lot less faff than trying to glue it. Accordion fold card, okay. Cool. I do like an accordion fold card. Was it one that was from recently? Or was it a, um, a while ago? Because if it was recently, it might have been that one we did on the live stream. Uh, the one that you can do as a stepper or an accordion. Might be that one, maybe. Right, so there's the birthday. So we're going to bring our card back in again. Let's open this up. Put this in the middle. You could have it at a jaunty. I'm going to have it straight. I feel it needs to be straight. Like that. 
There we go. And then I'm going to use my blunt one. Oh, where's my blunt one? Oh, there we go. And just poke through all the holes. And at least this way as well, you're not going to lose that little dot for the eye. And your bee's going to be nicely lined up with your Earth Day. So that's another advantage to leaving it in the die. And then let's just get this and get our pin in between pin in between the die cut and the die and then you can just kind of run it along there we go get it all free now i can't see that very well so i might actually make a white one and stick it over the top because that is kind of fading in a little bit to the background so i think i'll probably do a white earth day and put it over the top of the, the, the orange one um Yeah, I might even do a white happy, happy even, not happy. <laughs> I might do a white happy and stick that over the top as well, just to tie in. But I definitely think that needs to be a white or silver. Maybe I should do it as a silver. No, white. This is white. It needs to really, oh, hello. It needs to stand out. So let's get our happy on. So up to there. So everything on that side needs pads on there we go let's close that up like that and then yeah I'm definitely going to put a white birthday on there because that disappears I think if I do it, I mean, white, there's no other white anywhere else, but I feel like if I do it with white, it'll hopefully stand out a little bit more because that Earth Day doesn't really fit. Oh, okay, Dutch Joan. Yeah, it, um, I have to say, it depends on your, it depends on your tape because not all tapes cut well. So this one, I can't remember where I got this tape from, but I've worked out this is one of the few tapes that does actually work. There are other ones that don't, they just don't die cut well. Um, and if you use an adhesive sheet as well, you have to be careful because again, they don't always die cut well. Um, do we want to go silver with the birthday, do we think? Or do we want to go white? What do you reckon? I feel like white's going to stand out, but I don't know if white doesn't really go because I haven't got white anywhere else. I have got silver though. Maybe I should go silver. Do we think shiny silver? What do we think? Suggestions, please. Hmm. Maybe, maybe shiny silver. Mm -hmm. That's not quite big enough. Shiny silver, I think is going to be the one. Silver, yeah, I think the white's not quite right. Let's go with that one. And, and let's uh we're gonna have to angle slightly like that to fit it all on. And then just knocked you all. Sorry, you're all swinging in the wind again. Didn't mean to knock you all. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw around so I don't put tape where I don't really need it. So it's going to come down here, down here. You're not going to see any of this. It's just a rough guide for me so I can see where I need to put tape. Um, Let's just go across there like that and then do it in little stripes like this. And one at the top. There we go. Right, so let's get this cut out. So an extra piece of silver I don't need. Oh. 
Oh, it's so heavy, this die cutting machine. It was over a year ago. Okay. Mm. I can't help you then. My memory's not very good. <laughs> I'm glad it worked. <laughs> um, where did I have it? Like that? Yeah, I think like that. Run it through, run it back. And then I'm going to need to flip it over, I think, because again, this tape. Oh no, I'm not going to need to flip it over. It's, it's cut. Oh my goodness. That's good. Right. Move that out of the way. Oh, my little spots come out. Okay, well, I'll just have to stick that on after. Oh, my letters are all coming out. Okay, let's see if we can keep them. If I can't keep them in the die, then I can't keep them in the die. I'll just have to. And mind you, it doesn't really matter with this one because I've already stuck down the birthday. So I'll just stick it on top. So I don't actually need to. I don't need to leave them in. That's fine. Right, let's take these little bits off. Well, Pepsi sat herself down. She's having a little snooze on my cushion. I'm sitting on a hard seat and she's sitting on my chest of drawers just to the right of me on my lovely cushion. <laughs> Bless her. At least it's kept her quiet. Is there any glue on that top bit? Oh, there, mm, no, there isn't. Okay, that's fine. Top of my bee doesn't have any glue on it let me just stick a little bit of glue glue on it because i just know that's going to start flapping in the wind and then it's going to get annoying just need to be careful i don't end up oh, glue on my mirror that's the only problem i don't want glue on my mirror right let's bring this in again let's just offset it slightly like that, a bit more of an offset, let's just move this over, like that. Okay, and then we'll do the little dot, the little dotty dot. There we go. And then we need the rest of the word. It's coming off now. It doesn't want to stay with the backing anymore. Okay. Now that's already sticky, that's sticky. Ooh. I try not to touch the bits that are sticky so I don't unstick them. But sometimes you accidentally do. Come on. There we go. There we go, move out of the way. There we go. Ooh, there we go. There we are. It's just a bit that takes the time, but okay, Sally Joe. Yeah, catch you next time, catch you next week, hopefully. Hope you'll have a go. Let me know how you get on. Definitely a more involved card this week. Not for the faint hearted or those who don't want to faff. That's for sure. Oh, come on, off you come, Mr. Paper. But we're almost there. We're nearly at the end. Hurrah! This is why I don't end up decorating very much, because by the time I get to the end of one of these cards, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I am done. Let's go lie down in the darkened room. Right, the bottom of me wise hasn't got any glue on it, so I have to put a bit of stick on that, I think. There we go. There we go. See, all this would normally be speeded up on a video, wouldn't it? So you wouldn't have to sit and watch me stick this all down. Right, let's put a bit of a little bit of glue on this end. There we go. Just glad I'm not doing this at ten o'clock at night. This would not be the card for a ten o'clock live stream, that's for sure. Right, so it's got to get me angles right. That needs to go about there, I reckon. Yeah, about there. About there and about there. And about... Ooh, don't go 
over the fold there. Squish that in a little bit. Oh, it's gone a bit wonky there, but whatever. Let's just make sure that folds in. Yep. That's better. It kind of stands out a bit more. Still kind of disappears a little bit, but it's it's not too bad. Okay, right, let me just quickly see if I can find my cogs. Um, I did have a whole load. Oh, I've got these. I've got these little tools, but I did have some cogs somewhere. I've got keys. I've got tools. Mind you, they're going to... I wanted cogs really, I didn't want tools. Um, uh, where are my tools? I don't know where my tools are. Not my tools, my cogs, where are my cogs? is it that you have things and then when you need them you can't find them uh, it helps you when making your cards it helps you see how long it takes <laughs> well anyway i was going to put some cogs on but i don't know where they are i have got some somewhere some embellishments some cog embellishments and i found them before and thought oh i need to remember about those because they'd be good to use in a man's card and now i'm doing a man's card can i find them no i can't so anyway i'll probably leave it there then and then if i find them i'll add them on uh, and if I find them in time before I do the photo, then you will see them. So there you go. There is your gatefold diamond box card. So yeah, I won't say it's easy. <laughs> it's a challenge, but it's satisfying when you've finished. You go through the same thing. I know, I think we all do, to be fair. And I bet you will come off the live and they'll be right there. And I'll be like, oh, there they are. I could have used those. So yeah. So there you go, then you open it up and you've got your little birthday and it stands up nicely on your desk. I, I like the way they look, they do look nice. They look like a nice card, but um, yeah, they're not. They're definitely not for the faint hearted. So make sure you've had, you know, lots of sleep before you try these. And uh, yes, right, yes, I'm gonna go and probably have some lunch because it's now two o'clock in the afternoon. Two o'clock in the afternoon, how is it two o'clock? <gasps> My days. Now two o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm going to go and have some lunch and then I am going to try and get those up. I'm going to try and get those uploaded, those papers, do the little video and everything. So yeah, so stay tuned, just keep checking on it. Um, if you favourite my shop, it will, I think it lets you know when I upload stuff. So that's the best way of doing it. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I hope you guys have a go. I hope you've enjoyed today, even though it's been a bit hard going at times and um yeah i'll see you all again next tuesday same time and we'll be doing the silent night papers next week not sure what the card's going to be yet i have an idea of what i might do um i might do this one actually if everyone wants to do this card this card here i do like this i just think it's really cool the way it pops forward so i might do this card um yeah i think that's probably the one i'm going to do i just like it i think it's quite cool i like the way it kind of moves by itself like it's free so yeah, so that's the one. I think that'll be the one. Might change, might just be. I'm going to poodle off and I'll see you all next week. Okie dokie. Have a good week, everybody. Oh, just take you off. Have a good week, everybody. Close up of the card as we always do every week with my shaky hand. If you like this, don't forget to use my co-liced images if you go over to In Love Art Shop. And yeah, see you next week. Bye, everyone.